Waiguji Akasa, Waiguji Gifate. I'm sitting here with Harmeet Kaur, who works at CNN. If you want to introduce yourself a little bit. Hi, I'm Harmeet Kaur. I am a culture writer at CNN. I write stories for CNN.com about race, identity, religion, social issues. Yeah. Amazing. So in this unique role you have as a culture writer for CNN, you have a platform to shed light on underrepresented voices and address issues of race, identity, social justice, things like that. Um, can you share some of the most impactful stories you've covered or impactful topics you've explored and how you strive to portray them with the sensitivity and nuance to portray them authentically, but also resonate with diverse audiences and the diverse audience that CNN uh, has? Yeah. Um... I think I can name two examples that come to mind, um, stories that I feel really strongly about um, and that were really important to me in my own career um, or when I've got to talk about the Sikh community in my work. So, you know, one was a story that I did in 2021 on the 20th anniversary of 9-11. I, you know, spent time with Bilbir Singh Sodhi's family. He was the first Sikh killed after 9-11 in an act of retaliation. Um, and, you know, I, in, in doing that story, I was writing about his life, but I was also writing about how 9-11 um, affected our community and, and all the ways that, you know, people were attacked or they experienced um, microaggressions at work or they, you know, experienced discrimination. Um, it was a side of, of this national tragedy that a lot of people, you know, either forgot or just weren't as familiar with. Um, and so, like you said, I think being able to lean on my background in reporting that story, um, you know, just having the language skills when you're talking to folks from our community, they may not be as experienced talking to media. So seeing someone who looks like them helps put them at ease, makes them feel kind of comfortable um, and like they, you know, can, can share and, and talk about their story. Um, so that, um, just sharing that background, just knowing the nuances, having sort of like having loved ones who have lived through that themselves, I think that was huge, but also like like you said, have it resonate with a wider audience. Um, you know, this was a national story um, and we're just, you know, presenting another side of it that people haven't talked about. So I think um, the, it's, it's, it's also like, it's being specific. Um, it's, it's um, you know, putting that cultural nuance in, putting, including that specificity, but also not getting too lost on those details um, and, you know, remembering to also like widen out, zoom out, um, and show why everyone should care. Right. And I think uh, that kind of uh, smaller narrative that gets missed is can really only be brought up by someone from the community. For example, the big narrative you hear around 9-11 is, oh, the country was united for a bit after that. But Babir Singh sold these family, the larger Sikh community. We know that that's not true because literally hours after he was killed. And that started a wave, a new lifestyle for those of us living here. And so, uh, like you said, being able to lean on your background really helped you bring that nuance out. And I think something that's really important that only people like you can can bring out. So really commend you for that. Um, as, as you kind of mentioned, as I'm sure everyone has asked you here today about how you've uh, used your sick background, your sick ethos to inform uh, your work and to integrate it, it into your work. But I kind of want to flip the question a little bit and ask you, how do you think your work uh, contributes to the general sick conscience and the general sick diaspora to move it forward. So uh, in a, on a personal growth level, on an artistic growth level, and on a kind of bunthic growth level, and how kind of your work is contributing to the growth of the community, if you could uh, touch on that a little bit. Yeah, that's a, such a great question. It's a big one. Um, I, you know, as an individual, we can only do so much, but also it's a big platform, and so there is a lot we can do. Um, I think one, there's the surface level representation, of course, right? Like other people see, oh, there's a sick in this big mainstream space. Um, you know, there's someone, like it, it's, it's possible. There's also someone that, um, you know, we can go to to tell stories about our community. So on that level, um, I think, you know, on another level, like when I am able to do stories about our community, I feel like I can you know, include more context that, you know, a reporter who isn't from the community um, might not be familiar with. I can, you know, just help 
like flesh out who we are as people so many times when we're depicted in the media it's in a sort of flat way or, or it's often just focusing on like traumas or negative things that we've endured instead of like just painting us as people yes um uh, so that's a big part of it as well um awesome and I don't know how much you can tell us, but any, uh, if you want to tell us about anything you're working on or anything you have coming up to wrap this whole thing up, uh, now's your chance. Yeah, um, <laughs> great question. I am about to take off work for about three weeks, so um, I don't know too much about what I'm, I guess I'll, I'll share one, one story that I'm working on. Um, for Pride Month, I um, am doing a piece on um, how LGBTQ folks in, um, America navigate that identity and what it's like for them. Um, that's also a story close to my heart because I grew up in a rural area. I grew up in rural Kentucky. Um, and it's a, it's a facet of that experience that I think doesn't uh, really get explored much in the media. So I'm excited to tell that story when I'm back from vacation. Awesome. Thank you for providing us insight into how you kind of work and how you uh, produce the amazing stuff that you do. So thank you so much for giving us your time. Waiguchi Akasa, Waiguchi Kifate. Please subscribe, share, and like this video to support us.